Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be looking back at the banners we got and predicting what we could get for the Phantom Festival that's happening next Tuesday. So basically, um, from all the banners we got, I want to see what we could get and also what the new units could be. So then, let's get into it. That's right. I have now reached Super Saiyan Rose. So we got four exclusive banners, the first one being the Fuego Leon Salamander Arm, then the Jen and Julius, and we also got the Black Asta, and so these were the units that were featured in the Fathom Festival, but there was also another banner, so we also got the um, uh, Devil and the Leaked. So with, um, with five, sorry, no, with six units, um, they chose four, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be featuring four units, first of all. So these units were actually pretty good. Um, they did a good job with the first month of it, at least, but we're also going to be talking about the other banners so that we could get a, a bit of a clearer image. So there was the Langris and Finro, and also the Mary Leona, which could be called normal banners. Since they're your, they're your normal banners, that these characters will be featured in the normal pool after. And there were also um, uh, the Valentine's Day and the Yukata, which are seasonal banners. So with these two, they can't really be featured because the seasonal are for when they're seasonal, their time, and the normal are in a normal pool, so they're in any banner. And with the Fan Festival, this is what we got. So we got all the exclusive units that were featured, and they put it in, and then we got the featured unit with the other four. So I feel like um, this is going to be able to give us a clear image of what we're gonna get for um, this um, this month's Phantom Festival. So we have gotten three banners since the Phantom Festival, one banner a week, and in the Phantom Festival was three weeks ago. So for the first banner, we got the Taig, Mary Leona, and the Mimosa. And then for the second banner, we've gotten the Defense Julius, which is, also, is an exclusive. And then we've gotten the Witch Queen and Vanessa. So from these, the ones that could be seen in Phantom Festival is the Tigmere Leona, the Witch Queen, and the Defense Julius, since they will not be in the normal pool, whereas the um, Mimosa and the Vanessa will be. So those two are out of the question. So I believe we're going to get the, the um, uh, Tig, Fuego Leon, Mary Leona, the Witch Queen, and the Julius. But then... There's also an extra spot in the banner from what we seen last month. So I think we're also going to be getting the Devil and Leaf since they were not in it. So with those five units, I believe the two featured units will be the Royal Knights Asta and the Spirit Dive Yuno. Or it could be one of, I would say if they had to go with one would be the Yuno. So that's how I believe the banner will be looking. So I'm saying these two units or one or the other because they can't bring out like the Black Divider, Asta, or the Spirit, uh, Spirit of Zephyr, you know, because they're seven stars. So, and these two units are hype enough to get them the money they want to get. And people will summon on this banner. Like, it's going to be an amazing banner if they do bring it out. So if you guys agree with me on the featured units, leave a like. I mean... I definitely put some thought into this because I didn't want to just go into it and just say anything. Because I don't believe it could be like the Valkyrie Noel or the Awaken Leaked. Because those are something that, yeah, I could give them some money. But I feel like these units, they're already bringing out tag units. And we do know, it would be really nice if they will bring out the Yami. I think they might bring out a tag unit every month. Because now the JP side is going to bring out some tag units. Like, uh, they're bringing out the, the Elf Charlotte and the Yami. Yami's really popular with the tags. So, yeah. If you guys do agree with me, leave a like. And now we're going to get into a little Julius showcase. I just want to bring him into PvP a bit. See, uh, like, show his how he's really worth it. But I feel like I shouldn't have summoned because how I predicted that Julius will be on the banner. But I just needed him in case I didn't get him. I don't have a, a de good defense unit that isn't Mars. And he's kind of lost his value. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, 
so I'm back. So basically, I'm just gonna show you my team quickly. So for my team, uh, let me go here. So I don't have Leopold six star, so I'm not gonna use him. So this is my defense team, but if I go into PvP, it's gonna be different. So um, basically, I have him as my leader. So um, it, I mean, it's all right. It's not the best. Uh, then we've got so Char Dwarmy. Then block Asta, Mimosa, then Julius in front, so he buffs the three in back of him, as you can see here in back, so he buffs these three, and then you got Mara Leona, so for the relics, here I put her relic, with this, so toughness abilities will trigger more often, very long and race speed, large permanent, so if you go here, you've got two toughness abilities, so I put it there, and for him, I gave him invincibility for defense. And this doesn't really give defense, but it's alright. gives him a lot of HP. So for her, this is my defense team, by the way. So she's got the wisdom and speed, so she could heal more. And then this is extra healing. And then him, I didn't really know what to give him. And her, I gave her more attacks and more attack. So she's, like, pretty OP. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put the Wormy into the... Oh, I'm actually, I'm going to train him now. Get it over with. Okay. How much points shop? Okay, I'm going to wait for another uh, funeral. Murder. But I'm going to add Dwarmy so that I could get another one of hers. Alright. So I'm going to be getting one in 26 hours. It's better than the 40 because it's half. Oh, two times stock speed. So that's really good. Now's the best time to get her. Alright. So my arena team. So I have double in front. He's like has a lot of HP. Oh, sorry. He should be in front. Yeah. So then Julius, I know he should be in front, but I mean, okay, I'll put him there because he buffs, but the, then double gets more than Julius. So I'll keep Julius there. And so he buffs. He gives stuff. He uh, he's uh, support to like uh, make sure no one attacks even. So let's get into it. So I'll do my five battles and then the video ends. Oh yeah, so what I said before, it's possible that they add the Dwarmy as the fourth unit. So instead of there being the Devil and Leaked, it could be um, the uh, it could be the Dwarmy, which I wouldn't mind. I mean, it's free five-star Phantom Sheets for me since I got her so many times. You could check out that video, by the way. Uh, it, I, I really, I, I got so lucky. Like, my whole team I have because of her. I got Dwarmy, Mariliona, and yeah, I got Dwarmy and Mariliona there. And if it would be on my defense or anything, uh, I also have my Black Asta. I didn't get uh, Fuego Leon, sadly, so. As you can see, they're, they're all stunned, and I mean, there's nothing. Re oh, I just went into any battle. I don't know who I was facing. Uh, I'll check that out next time. I'm really excited for the Phantom Festival next week, so I'll only do three. I don't want to bore you guys. Well, I'll, I'll do five, I'll do five. Yeah, so first I'm about to be getting 300, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I'll fight this just because it's close to my end. Yeah, I'm sad I don't have Leopold the uh, six star. I do really want him six star, but I've just gotten so unlucky. Like. Tons of my units have gotten like extra sheets, and he's not even a five star. And his rel, his I'm pretty sure it's his equipment. It's kind of good. I don't remember where you get the flag of glory though. If anyone knows, tell me in the comments below. I mean, I should just go check on Infinity Clover. Okay, so it seems like I've won. Like the devil, like tanks the damage because. I'll try putting Julius in front. He has a lot of HP also. He goes that he has as much HP as Mary Leona, and she's a six star. He's five star. So I'm gonna put him in the front. I'll see how it goes. But like PvP is easy, and like you don't need to like go crazy for it because tons of like my defense team. I just put uh, my I think it was Dormy or um, uh, Julius. I mean, I don't. I want. <laughs> I people. It's like, why even try? You don't lose anything. And like, you're not playing against real players. If they would do that, and if they would add real raids, they could definitely get some hype, more hype, add alliances. They gotta do stuff. So now, I I don't know why, but I'm not getting any black jewels. So as you can see, it's not really a good game mode. 
I, I don't, I've, they, they should definitely change it. Which one's harder? I'm gonna take this one because there's three amazing units, one good unit, two good units, because Noel's alright. I mean, she's a good healer. I play this game a lot. I'm sad that, like, I don't know. If they have Tower of Dreams again, I definitely am gonna be really happy about that. So many black jewels, and I definitely increased my strength from before. So, yeah, like, I'm definitely gonna be able to get, like, at least two multis from Tower of Dreams. Probably get stage 40. That's two multis, because 180 around. And then that's the event, so. It gives more than usual, like this one, the event gave 3200, a bit more than that, I think. Yeah, so, that's why Golden Hill stands no chance. Okay. But, uh, the, like, the Julius just stunned him. Like, it's so good. He's such like a good unit. I, I I got unlucky, like I had to do a full rotation to get him. But it was so worth like the Phantom Festival, if they bring out the Spirit Drive, you know Spirit Dive. Sorry, Ace Kage got that in my head. <laughs> so um yeah. Uh, if that happens for sure. I'm gonna have to summon, but I'm gonna do my dailies and everything. I'll definitely rack up a bit more until then. So, I'm just gonna go through them, and then that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So, his art? It's alright. It's alright. Uh, HP? Uh, it's alright. His defense could be a bit higher, but at 6 star it's probably higher. Attacks? Alright. Wisdom? Alright. Speed? Alright. But then he gets crazy over here. Chrono Anastasis. So, um, with... Uh, restore HP to XL to all out to allies in range and remove status effects and debuffs. So basically, everyone's getting like a full reboot, uh, like literally a full reboot. It's Krona and Anastasis. She's just going back in time, pretty much. Increase the number of actions for AOM participants. Not the best. The Wizard King's Pride. Raise defense of self and all and, and allies in range. L. Uh, large long i'm guessing raise on hate xl uh damage medium enemies and range and medium chance to infi inflict stop very short so that's the one that's pretty good and then this one if i had it i would give the this cloak thingy to uh, to um julius but i don't i uh, he's my next six star when the tower of dreams comes out i think i'm gonna get enough and also, I need to get him from the shop, so it basically gained invincibility. He gains invincibility. He's going to be in the front for sure. Let's see how many uh, phantom sheets I can farm. I farmed everything else that I really need. Okay, so 9, 13, 17, uh, 19, 23, 25, 29, 31. Uh... Probably gonna get like 15, 16, because I don't wanna waste everything, but it's a lot, it's a lot. Cause right now, uh, I have 43, so I need another 37. Yeah, 37. So yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, put some time into it, definitely. Oh, well, I'm just gonna stop now. Peace.